Hello, good evening. Welcome to our channel, You She Talks. And today we are talking about a UFN swimmer who says that women are now third class citizens against a trans teammate, Leah Thomas, and says that she wasn't even close to being competitive as a man after her latest wins. We have more details. Please continue to watch this video. An anonymous University of Pennsylvania swimmer has slammed transgender teammate Leah Thomas as she continued to dominate in the pool in a meet against Howard this weekend, saying that she was not even close to being competitive competitive when competing as a man. The swimmer, who chose to remain anonymous, uh, says that Thomas, uh, 22, has gained through her transition, especially after the U.S. swimming team announced that it will now allow non-elite athletes to compete in a way that's consistent with their gender identity. On Thursday, USA Swimming said that it will release a new policy shortly on whether the elite trans athletes like Thomas, who competes for an Ivy League school, can compete against biological women. Women are now third-class citizens, the swimmer said, noting that Thomas was not as good a swimmer when competing against the men, but thrived against women. Leah was not even close to being competitive as a man in the 50 and 100 uh, freestyle event she adds. But just because Leah is biologically a man, she is just naturally better than many females in the 50s and 100s or anything that she wasn't good as a man. Competing during the NCAA college swimming meet with Harvard University in Boston, Massachusetts, Thomas won women's 100 meter and women's 200 meter freestyle races, although the margins were far narrower than in previous races that she won in 2021. Uh, Thomas won her 100-meter race in 50.55 seconds with the closest competitor coming in at 51.51 seconds. In the 200-meter race, she won 1 minute 47 seconds and 0 0.08 seconds with the second place being secured in 1 minute 48 seconds and 44 second, uh, sub-seconds. Thomas was on the UPenn men's team during her first three years, but she is now competing on the women's team this season after transitioning from male to female. She was required to undergo hormone therapy for at least a year before being allowed to compete as a man. But including her inclusion in the women's team has been slammed by her teammates, with one this weekend saying that she believes the NCAA are failing to protect her fellow teammates and competitors. So that's all we have in today's video. Please continue to watch this space for more information. Please, thanks for watching us. You have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye.